Hello, YouTube friends and followers. I want to go through and tell you how to run Linux VNC on a Raspberry Pi. So in my last video, I showed you how to access the script to actually build on a Raspberry Pi or on any Debian system like Mint or Ubuntu or similar. So now I'm on a um, Ubuntu 14.04 system, or 14.10, I think. And I'm going to use this system only for displaying uh, X windows from the Raspberry Pi running Linux uh, CNC. So Linux CNC is running on the Raspberry Pi. And the first thing we do, if you want to have anything access X windows, you have to give it permission. So we're going to say X host. Uh, X host plus, I think it is. No, X host plus. So now we can connect from any system. So any system running an X Windows app can connect to this. Now we're going to use SSH to get to the Raspberry Pi. SSH, and if I say minus X, that'll basically allow any X application to uh, forward its windowing back to this uh, Ubuntu, which has X Windows running. So this Ubuntu 1410, we have X Windows running. All this stuff you see here um, is running on X Windows already. So we're simply going to have the Raspberry Pi do a um, display on this thing. So this is the IP for the Raspberry Pi. Gonna log in. Okay, now we're on the Raspberry Pi. There's four cores on this thing, right? Four cores. I did build this thing in the last video on the Raspberry Pi. It worked great, so. There's not much on this Pi, but if we go here to the uh, directory called uh, Linux CNC Dev, that's where the executables are for Linux CNC. Okay, now we're on there. We gotta go to scripts to set up the environment. We gotta run this rip environment command, so go dot for source. You wanna source an environment script dot slash for the path and we'll put in rip environment. And this will set the environment up there. Now we're ready to run the program which is going to be Linux CNC. Just type it in. So we're typing on the Pi. And what's going to happen is it's going to revert back to the X Windows display on this uh, Ubuntu system here on, on Ubuntu 14.10. So watch what happens. We hit this. It's slow because the Pi is not as powerful as a MacBook. But here is the window now coming up from the Raspberry Pi. So this is actually running on the Pi. And we're just displaying this thing. If we had the TV set connected uh, via the... Um, HDMI connector on the Pi. I could show you that, but my Pi is running headless, and so I need a display to uh, show the X windows on how we have Linux VNC working. So if I run, say, Axis, you'll see it'll run, but it just runs very slowly. So here's Axis. You'll see it's working on it there on the Pi. And display comes up on our Ubuntu 1410, it's just very slow, but it works. So yes, you can compile and you can run um, Linux uh, CNC on the Pi. And lots of people have taken this a lot further on YouTube. I've seen people actually running, I think, seven or nine stepper motors. So this is not, I guess, real hard to do. You'd want to make a real-time kernel for the Pi next, I suppose, and try it that way. So anyway, this is just to show that yes, you can run Linux CNC on a Pi, Raspberry Pi, and you can use my last video on how to compile a thing. So it's pretty cool. Let's see what else we can run here. Histogram demo. So it's not blindly fast, but it runs. And there's the histogram demo right there. So you can run this thing on a Raspberry Pi, even the uh, X Windows interface. It doesn't run too bad. 
I'm sure it couldn't control a CNC machine unless we put in the uh, correct kernel. So maybe in one of the next videos we'll build a real-time kernel for this thing. And I wonder what this means here. Maybe that's just the window where it's creating the stuff. I don't know this program very well yet. I'm learning it. Anyway, thanks for watching. And yes, this is how to uh, this is how to run Linux CNC in a Raspberry Pi. In my last video, I went through how to build this thing. And the build script I have um, on GitHub. So look under GitHub Jeff Fall. GitHub J E F F F A L L for it. Um, look under say uh, there you'll find all my scripts for running this stuff. And let's see where are we at here. So I have this little shell script here for the Raspberry Pi for building this thing, and you would run a run the script as root and it'll start compiling it. Anyway, here's the script. It's pretty simple. I should probably make the script a little better so it will do a little more for you, but this does enough to basically download Linux CNC and get it compiled on the Pi. So pretty much when this runs, you're ready to go on the Pi. And you would just run the environment command and do Linux CNC just like we did here. And you're ready to go. So again, this is running on the Pi. You can see how slow this is. I also compiled this thing directly for um, this VM. So I'm running this stuff in a VM on a MacBook. So getting off the Pi now, this Ubuntu is actually running on a MacBook Pro with four cores. So I could go in the terminal here, and I have the same install on this thing. So I can say cd to uh, Linux. Uh, CNC. Oh, I gotta put the dev in there. That'll do it. I thought I had this thing in here somewhere. There it is. There it is. And now I'm running this thing straight on the VM, which is running Ubuntu 14.10. So we'll see how much faster it is running on a uh, Ubuntu VM. And this is like the last video I made doing this stuff. Go in the scripts, and we'll just do a source again on the environment stuff here. It's called rip. Um, rip, 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 rip environment. And we'll source this. Say Linux CNC. And you'll see now it's a lot faster. It's a lot faster. So watch how fast. Boom, it's up. So it runs a lot faster on this uh, VM on the MacBook than it does on a Raspberry Pi. So obviously there's a lot more horsepower. Uh, in this uh, in this VM than a Raspberry Pi has, but it will run on the Pi, so not so bad, right? Um, can I run Axis on here? I was running it last night. I guess I can run one of these. So yeah, it's a lot faster on the uh, Linux machine. Now that bombed out. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, I was working with this last night and I had success with it. Four axis, what's this one do? Boy, that blew up. Anyway, it does run, but there are bugs. Thanks for watching and have a great day.